It's curious, but as soon as McDonald's quickly returned to Russia under the new name Fkusne i Tochka, Tasty and That's It, and started to hit the records of the sales of burgers, started selling more burgers in Fkusne i Tochka than even McDonald's used to sell, there's immediately started to be spreads and information that, oh, the buns are moldy, sauce is not fresh, cheese is rotten, and uh, at all, there's the insects inside of the burgers. Coincidence? I don't think so, but let's see. My name is Sergey Baklukov. This is Baklukov Live, St. Petersburg, Russia. And now here I came to uh, one of the restaurants, which is located on the corner of Nevsky and Rubinstein Streets. Добро пожаловать. Welcome. Вкусно и точка. Спасибо. Everything packed. Grand Deluxe. Okay. First of all, the smell. I can tell you that it smells pretty great. It smells pretty fresh. Now let's just dismantle it. The ban. It doesn't seem like rotten to me at all. Sauce, it doesn't seem not fresh or rotten. Lettuce seems fresh. Pickles also seem pretty fresh. Tomatoes fresh. Cheese also doesn't seem like moldy or something. Meat is okay. Mm. Tastes okay too. The slice of tomato is just as a slice of tomato. To make it even more accurate, I'm gonna go to another place, another Vkusna i Tochka, which is closest to this one, next to Gastine Dvor. Let's check it out there. Гостиный двор. The next McDonald's is here on the corner of Nevsky and Dumske.
at this time let me buy double cheeseburger and I need a lot of also the french fries 32 32 It's packed. Mm -hmm. Спасибо. Got my order: latte, French fries, sauce, and double cheeseburger. So here is the close-up of the bun, and again, it doesn't seem moldy to me at all. Not from insides, not from outsides. This ketchup seems fresh. Pickle as well. Now let's look at this cheese. I don't see anything wrong in this cheese as well. Just look at this. Pickle. The meats, more cheese. Smells good too. Let's face it. Let's face it. Mm. Tastes awesome as well. <clears throat> Also, I don't see any insects here. Nothing. And finally, the French fries. Totally the same. Totally. Fine sauce. Totally. The same, everything fresh. Okay, so I could go to one more restaurant, but I think just makes no sense. But already now it is obvious that, you know, all those recent reports about rotten buns, not fresh lettuce and, uh, you know, moldy cheese, insects inside of the burgers here in Vkusnaya Tochka turn to be lies, big lies. And again, I had to debank it. Recently I debank a lot of stuff about Russia. Why those fake reports recently happened? This is my opinion. Four months ago, when McDonald's restaurants in Russia announced that they are leaving the country, like many people all over the world, all those who are against Russia and against Russian people, they were happy, absolutely happy. But when McDonald's kind of quickly, just in a few months, returns, yes, under the new name, rebranded, точка, but it is returned, that was the disappointment. It has pissed those people off big time. And even more, they were pissed when uh, it is became known that now the uh, sales hitting the records, all-time records, that Vkusna и Точка started to sell even more burgers than McDonald's used to sell. 
So that's why all this face uh, started to appear, you know. But this is lies because let me tell you, вкусно и точка. It is not a knock off. This is McDonald's shell company. Because you can read the official press release of McDonald's. They have sold all their Russian restaurants to Vkusna i Tochka company, together with all the employees, kitchen equipment, suppliers contracts, as 95% of raw materials for uh, McDonald's food was from Russia. You're thinking they were bringing meat, uh, vegetables, fries, like from outside of Russia? No, it's always Russian. Ends with a menu except Big Mac, because it's like Big Mac pretty much symbolized with McDonald's brands. And the management, all the top management of McDonald's in Russia turn to be the top management of Vkusne i Tochka. So you guys don't have to say that uh, now Vkusne i Tochka lost the McDonald's quality control. Or like Paroyev, uh, the general manager of McDonald's in Russia, now the general manager of Vkusne i Tochka. But the main option in that agreement uh, that McDonald's corporation anytime within 15 years uh, will be able to buy all their restaurants back okay so anytime it can be returned and they are not interested in uh, uh, the low quality of the products here because they are planning to get back when everything will settle down and that's why such a ridiculous name Vkusna i Tochka it's like three words it's like long it's not catchy let me tell you as a native uh, Russian speaker Vkusna i Tochka it's not catchy it's not catchy on your like tongue if I can say it so uh, so they want people to have all the same uh, atmosphere all the same foods yes with other different name but all the same so in order when they will get back everything would happen like uh, fast and easier that's what you need to understand and so let me tell you since 2000 i my my first mac meal i've got in 2000s i ate enough of mcdonald's foods in order now to state it that taste is absolutely the same even the smell is absolutely the same and uh, here is no any uh, moldy bands no dudes nothing like rotten cheese sauce and stuff like that nothing believe me and that's why here is a lot of people we saw that the restaurant on Rubenstein was packed the restaurant here is packed on Gassina Dvor and it's not even the um, uh, evening kids when people are getting back home from work dudes dudes admit it admit it my name is Sergey Baklikov this is Baklikov live thank you for watching comment like subscribe Спасибо большое.